Ever wondered why apples are so popular in folklore and mythologies? Let's unravel the secrets. Apples, these alluring orbs of delight that have captivated imaginations and taste buds for centuries. They've played pivotal roles in some of the world's most enduring stories and myths. But what makes them so fascinating? Well, it's not just about their crunchy sweetness or the satisfying crunch sound they make when you bite into them. There's so much more to these juicy fruits. Stay tuned as we count down the top eight intriguing facts about apples. A fact number eight, did you know there are over 7,500 varieties of apples worldwide? Each variety has its own unique characteristics. For example, the Honeycrisp is known for its juicy crunch and the Granny Smith is famous for its tart tang. The Fuji apple, on the other hand, is loved for its sweetness, while the Red Delicious is admired for its vibrant color. With such a diverse array of tastes and textures, there's an apple for every palate. From sweet to tart, apples offer a world of flavors. Moving on to fact number seven, apples were considered the fruit of immortality in ancient Greek mythology. The golden apple of the Hesperides was a divine fruit that granted eternal life. Hera, the queen of the gods, had these precious apples in her garden, guarded by a hundred-headed dragon. Heroes and gods alike sought these apples, symbolizing the eternal quest for knowledge, beauty, and immortality. The apple's significance in Greek mythology is truly a testament to its timeless allure. Who knew an apple could have such a divine status? Here's fact number six. An apple tree can take up to eight years to bear its first fruit. From the moment a seed is planted, it embarks on a journey of growth and maturation. This process requires time, care, and the perfect blend of sunlight, soil, and water. It's a slow dance with nature, culminating in the production of those juicy, crunchy fruits we all love. So the next time you bite into an apple, remember the years it took to reach you. Patience is indeed the key when it comes to apple trees. Fact number five, ever wondered why apples float in water? It's all thanks to their structure. You see, apples are 25% air. Yes, you heard it right. A quarter of an apple is just air. This high air content makes the apple less dense than water, causing it to float. It's the same principle that allows enormous ships to stay afloat. Fascinating, isn't it? So the bobbing apple game is all about the science of buoyancy. Fact number four, an apple a day really can keep the doctor away. Here's why. Apples are chock full of fiber, with a medium-sized apple holding about four grams. That's a substantial 16% of your daily recommended intake. This fiber aids in digestion, helps keep you feeling full, and can even assist in lowering cholesterol levels. Moreover, this humble fruit is a great source of antioxidants that fight off harmful free radicals. Apples are not just delicious, but also a powerhouse of health benefits. Fact number three, apples are closely related to roses. Yes, you heard it right. The apple tree, also known as Malus domestica, is a member of the Rosaceae family, which includes a wide variety of plants from roses to strawberries, cherries, and even almonds. This family is characterized by their beautiful flowers and delicious fruits. So, the next time you bite into a crisp, juicy apple, remember, you're enjoying a treat from the same botanical family as a blooming, fragrant rose. Who would have thought that apples and roses are relatives? Fact number two, Washington State is known as the apple capital of the world. This isn't just a catchy title. The state produces a staggering 60% of all apples consumed in the United States. With its ideal climate and fertile soil, it's the perfect environment for growing this beloved fruit. From the juicy Red Delicious to the tart Granny Smith, Washington State's orchards offer a variety of flavors to savor. Next time you bite into an apple, chances are it came from Washington State. And finally, fact number one, despite popular belief, the Bible never specifies the forbidden fruit as an apple. This juicy tidbit of knowledge stems from a linguistic mix-up. In Latin, the word for apple and evil are similar, leading to a centuries-old case of mistaken identity. The forbidden fruit could have been a fig, grape, or even a pomegranate, so the apple's reputation as the forbidden fruit might just be a myth. So, there you have it, the top eight intriguing facts about apples. We've journeyed through the world of apples, discovered their association with immortality, and learned about their growth time. We found out why apples float, their fiber content, and their surprising relation to roses. We even visited the apple capital and debunked the myth of the original forbidden fruit. Who knew there was so much to learn about this humble fruit? Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.